Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tasting with Taylor. I am your host, Taylor, doing Tasting with Taylor things for you, tasting things so you don't have to. So, guys, I hate to say it, I know it's the middle of the game, even though the Bucks are handily winning right now. Um, I actually have more than a few things to do today, so I'm going to try and knock it out and get right to it. So, Lay's. Lay's seems like they never stop. By the way, speaking of Lay's, check the Snapchat. You guys will see that in my story. There's a little bit more behind that. There is a very uh, exclusive Lay's product that I got in the mail today. So, check that out. But, Lay's has these new chips called Layers. And they are weirdly shaped something or others. I don't even know if this is dried potatoes, uh, potato starch. I'm kind of interested on how they got this shape or this texture. So, we'll see what the texture is like. But... I'm excited because it's new and it's fresh, so these still are on shelves, and they look nothing. When I say they look, no, like, look at that, and then look at that. What? What? It's not even close. <laughs> these actually kind of remind me of, they almost look like bugles or something. I don't, I don't know if I'm too terribly excited about this. These, these are like the most misshapen. I am so sick of seeing things in commercials and on product bags that are nothing like they actually are. But that's how they get you because they have these perfectly shaped little whatchamahooters, whatever they are. I, I have no idea. Crispy layered potato bites. So I don't really understand how this is layered, but let's give it a shot. Uh, Lay's Layers, three cheese flavored. Let's give them a shot. Bon Appetit. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of flavor, dude. I was not... Because these don't look too terribly dark. I mean, they probably do on camera here. But they're really not as dark as they look. Wow. The texture is a little lighter. Which I'm not like a huge fan of. But wow, these have some flavor. Holy crap. Mmm. These are actually pretty good. Mmm. The texture though. I don't know about this texture. But man, these actually have a lot of flavor. I don't think this design really has anything to do with it. Because it changes the texture a little bit, but... The way they look, I was not expecting them to have this much flavor. That's actually really surprising. These are really cheesy. These remind me a lot of like, almost like a sour cream and cheddar. They're not supposed to have sour cream. They're just three cheese. But, I digress. So, Lay's Layers, three cheese. I gotta give that a one thumbs up. These are actually worth trying. I was kind of surprised how much flavor came out of this. So, if you see these, these might be worth a shot. This is actually kind of surprising. These are pretty good. So, on to the next one, because these things always come in, in twos or threes. So, here we have the Lay's Layers Sour Cream and Onion. Um, those three, the three cheese actually reminded me a lot of like a, like a Lay's Wavy Chip, to be honest. Um, between texture and flavor. Uh, these look a little closer to the picture. So, there you go. Sour Cream and Onion flavored. Um... This is a little closer, but not by a whole lot. These are not as circular as they come off to be. So, but, look at that. I mean, it's it's speckled like it's some kind of Alfredo sauce or something. I'm actually kind of surprised how many spices I'm seeing on these. So, Lay's Sour Cream and Onion. Uh, let's give them a shot. It's worth it. The texture I'm not a huge fan of, but let's see if these have as much flavor as the three cheese ones. Oh! Oh, what, what is that? Okay, one more time here. Oh, oh man, oh, okay, one more. These are actually, these almost seem kind of stale. Man, oh. Yeah, there's some kind of baked flavor. Oh, these are dry too. Lay's layers, sour cream and onion. I'm gonna give that a thumbs down. 
I am wildly disappointed in these. Wow. These are nothing close to the three cheese ones. Mmm. Oh, that tastes like ass, dude. Uh, Lay's new layers, sour cream and ass. <laughs> these taste like ass. I'm not impressed with these at all. This tastes like shit, dude. Not, not happy with these. So, these guys, definitely interesting. I can give that a one thumbs up. These, it's not very often, guys, but I'm giving that a one thumbs down. This is not even close to what I had anticipated. So, on to the next. And uh, we got more of a big shebang here at the end. And I don't know where I'm going to start with this. These have been out for a while, right? And I thought that they were just a regular nacho cheese. Maybe they just changed the uh, shape. Whatever. And I took a second look and I said, chili cheese nacho. Wow, they are a different flavor. So I think that uh, nacho cheese, or should I say, Doritos 3D actually came out a while ago. So this is kind of like a re-release. Oh man, these are shaped like bugles. Not much of a not much of a smell. Huh. Well, anyways, the packaging is attractive. Doritos 3D Crunch. Ooh, they added crunch at the bottom. Oh. Uh crunch chili cheese nacho. Let's give these bugles a shot. They're not actual bugles, but they look like bugles, don't they? The ones you used to put on your fingers and act like you're a witch. <laughs> Doritos 3D Crunch Chili Cheese Nacho. Let's give it a shot. Wow. I actually taste the chili in them. These are kind of freaking bland, though. I got a little bit of heat to them, but not much. Mm. See, these are the kinds of chips that you have to eat multiple I had time to get anything out of them. Mmm. They're not bad. But they're not good. But they're not bad. Mmm. If you get one of these bags and you decide to try it, I can guarantee you're going to have to eat the whole thing just to get the full experience because one chip is definitely not enough. But... Yeah, these kind of like taste like they're stale too. I don't know, they're kind of, they're a little dry. But, I digress. Doritos 3D Crunch Chili Cheese Nacho. I'm going to give you a whatever the this is, guys. It's not bad. It's not good. It's edible. Would I buy them again? Probably not. But I could see somebody really liking these. I, I do honestly believe that there's a fan base for these somewhere. But... I'm not really all that blown away by these, surprisingly enough. I actually thought those were going to be really good. So, let's check out the sister bag. Doritos 3D Crunch Spicy Ranch. This one I'm actually kind of excited for. It's anything like, if it's anything like Cool Ranch, it's probably not seasoned enough. Ooh. These have a little bit of a smell to them. Look at that. So... Man, those sour cream and onion layers, I mean, those sucked. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. All right, well, Doritos 3D Crunch, spicy, spicy ranch, I keep wanting to say nacho, spicy ranch. Let's give it a shot. Okay, it tastes a little ranch. Doesn't come off to me like the same seasoning they use for Cool Ranch. And if it is, it's not done very well. Mmm. These aren't really all that hot, though. I don't know why they put flames on the bag. That's kind of misleading. Okay. Now I'm getting a little more heat. But this is kind of the same way. I feel like I'd have to eat this whole bag just to actually taste the chips. Doritos 3D Crunch. Spicy Ranch. Whatever this is. Honestly, these were kind of a letdown. Wow, watch out for those. You don't want to blow your hard-earned money on those things. All right, so on to the more main event. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about this and not really sure where to start. So I'm going to start with uh, what might be my least favorite. Mountain Dew Pitch Black. 
Do you remember this? This was in the States for a while. Um, and it actually became an exclusive to Malaysia, bling, <laughs> bling it or not. Um, and uh, the ingredients are quite different than U.S. sodas, to be honest. I don't think there's high fructose corn syrup in here, which is kind of a surprise. And I want to thank Desert Drinks for having this online. They shipped to me in very good time. And uh, they actually gave me a little freebie at the end. And you'll see that here soon. So, Mountain Dew Pitch Black, Malaysia exclusive. This is going to be one that I will have at the event this spring. Let's give it a shot. Wow, that actually tastes a lot like the original. Hmm. Wow, that is impressive. With a punch of grape citrus flavor. Awesome sauce. Hmm. Wow, that is not that bad. Mountain Dew Pitch Black, Malaysia exclusive. I'm going to give that a one thumbs up. This is a lot better than I remember it. <laughs> but I will say that this does taste like when it was in the States. Somebody else had claimed on a Mountain Dew fan page that it tasted like diet cough syrup. I don't think it's that bad. This is actually a lot better than I had anticipated, to be totally freaking honest. I thought that was going to be way worse. Oh, what do I go to next? Um, Let's try Supernova. Do you guys remember this? This was part of a democracy years ago. I think it was in the same democracy uh, that got voted in. Um, oh, you better not. Ooh, stay away from the top. Ooh, that one foamed up on me a little bit. That one, I got a lot of carbonation out of that. Um, this was actually in the same democracy as Voltage. So this did not make it. But it made it in Finland, I believe. This is a, uh, from Finland, Sweden, somewhere in Scandinavia, this is an exclusive. I can't remember exactly where it was from, but Bon Appetit. Damn, that smells good. Holy crap. All right. Mountain Dew Supernova. Also another one that we will have at the Tasting of Taylor event this spring. Let's give it a shot. Ooh. Wow! You know, for as light a color as this is? Hmm. Wow! This is actually pretty good. I barely remember trying Supernova, but... Wow! <laughs> um, Mountain Dew Supernova. Is it over the top? Not really. Am I happy I tried it today? Yes! One thumbs up. That's actually pretty sweet. So, Supernova and Pitch Black will be at the Taste of a Taylor event, um, as well as these other sodas that are to follow. So, uh, the one that I'm really kind of interested in right now, I feel like last one's a little over the top, Mountain Dew Citrus Blast. This is actually from the UK, which is really cool. So, UK has their own exclusive. Come on. Ooh, people in UK must uh, have a really tight grip or something, because that was not easy to get off. So, I'm really excited. Ooh, this is not colored like dew in the United States. Look at that. It's almost like a, like a, like a piss yellow or something. It smells like Mountain Dew. Well, it says that it's a citrus blast, so it must have a little extra citrus in it. Let's give it a shot. Mountain Dew Citrus Blast, UK exclusive. Let's see what the United Kingdom has to offer. Cheers. Huh, that tastes like a, that almost tastes closer to Mellow Yellow. I'm not even shitting you. This, this tastes closer to Mellow Yellow. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's extra lemon or extra lime or extra of both, but I would have to say that this tastes closer to Mellow Yellow. It's like if you put Mountain Dew and Mellow Yellow together. That's weird, man. That is weird. But I do like Mountain Dew, and I do like Mellow Yellow. One thumbs up for that. Now, one of the weirder ones that I saw. Mm. And this one is a uh, exclusive to New Zealand. 
Mountain Dew Passion Fruit Frenzy. Why? <laughs> like, who is asking for passion fruit in New Zealand? Maybe it's a thing out there. I don't know. But I am kind of excited. And I'm going to see. I'm kind of interested to see what this smells like. If it's going to be like super fruity or what. Oh my gosh. What does that remind me of? That smells like NOS, dude. I'm not even kidding. That smells like NOS. That smells almost identical to NOS. Wow. And this is a thick yellow color. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, Mountain Dew Passion Fruit Frenzy from New Zealand. New Zealand, what you got? Cheers. Whoa. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Hold on. Wow. You know what? That even tastes a little bit like NOS. I'm not even joking. That that tastes a little bit like NOS. That's kind of creepy. But, nonetheless, it's a height. So, Mountain Dew Passion Fruit Frenzy, New Zealand, what do you got? Whatever this is. I'm not really blown away by this. However, it's not really in my palate. I honestly believe that Somebody else is going to like this a lot more than I do. I do think it's something that somebody would like, but it's not something that I'm a huge fan of. But there's a lot of flavor in this bottle. A lot. So, I got two more, <laughs> and these are going to be a lot quicker. I want to give a shout-out to Shelly for uh, sending me this. I actually found uh, Reese's Big Cup Peanut Brittle. So I tried the Pretzel Reese's, uh, Reese's, Reese's, Reese's. I tried the pretzel Reese's, I tried the potato chip one, um, and now apparently they have peanut brittle, but I have not found these in anything other than these individual big cups. So, let's give this a shot. It says peanut brittle flavored cream with crunchy peanut butter. Okay, that's something protruding there from the top. That's a little wanky. Um, but... Oh my gosh, this smells like coffee or something, dude. This, I don't know, man, I don't know. I do appreciate the suggestion, though. So, we'll give it a shot. We'll see how uh, we'll see how it goes. So, this is the Reese's Big Cup Peanut Brittle. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if I have to, like, lick it off the roof of my mouth. I like the peanuts in here. Mmm. Mmm, that's really sweet though. Mmm. The smell is like, the smell is sugar beyond sugar. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I'm not a big sweets guy, but I love how they put the peanut butter, you know, peanuts in the peanut butter. Mmm. This is probably something I'd slam when I was a kid. I ate so many sweets when I was a kid. That's probably why I don't like them as much now. Mmm. Reese's Peanut Brittle. I'm going to give it a whatever that this is. I think somebody would like it. Um, I'm definitely down to try it, so I'm happy for the suggestion, Shelly. Thank you. Appreciate it. But, I'm not much of a sweets guy, so it's kind of... You know. But, on to the next one. Since we're trying to get wrapped up so we can get back to the game where the Eagles are losing handily. This was actually sent to me along with my soda. So, Desert Drinks. Yes, and it's Desert Drinks, not Dessert Drinks, Desert Drinks. They're the uh, place I got the Mountain Dews from. If you guys want to check those guys out, um, I can put a link below. And um, these are like 10 bucks a bottle. They're, they're not cheap, but they are imported. So, duh, it's going to cost a little more. Oreo Fizzy. What? What, 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 what? I don't even know where to start with this. Do I just try and take the cream off the top? Oh, geez. So, I don't know if this is like carbonated somehow or if there's rocks in there. It is an orange cream, which is very, very odd. Yeah, and there's like little, there's like little rocks in there, bro. Little tiny rocks in there, bro. So, let's give the cream a shot. I want the cream before I even eat a full cookie. So, let's see. Oreo Fizzy. Let's give it a shot. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's like a little bit of carbonation in my mouth. Mmm. I don't know if I like the flavor of the cream though. Yeah, it's just, it's just fizzy. Like, almost reminds me of like a, one of those soda tab tops or whatever. I'm not exactly sure what the little rocks are for because I don't feel like they're carrying a lot of carbonation, but maybe that's what's melting down and, and giving me a little bit of carbonation. All right, let's give it a shot. Full cookie. Mmm. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about it, ooh, is it's an orange flavor. It is orange with chocolate, which you can ask my mom, is not my favorite flavor. She tried giving me orange sticks for Christmas once. Negative. Not a fan. So, Oreo Fizzy. Was it kind of a cool experience? Yes. Did it have a lot of fizz in it? Not really. Is it a cool product? Absolutely. The idea is good. The execution, not so much. So, Oreo Fizzy. I don't really feel the need to ever have them again, but it was cool. So, that has been it for today's Tasting with Taylor. I'm sorry to drag it out for so long, but I had all these things to do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Always be sure to like the page, um, share the page, share this video, subscribe for live notifications when I go live like this. Um, also, add the Snapchat. I've posted that a couple times, and I have a little surprise in my story for you, which is not being posted here to Facebook. It is only going to my Snapchat story because that is the inside scoop. So if you want to hear or see that, go to the uh, Snapchat and add that. Um, also, I'll try to get some of these up on YouTube. And I will see you guys around 3 o'clock because we are going to do a very hot challenge from Arby's, which I also get a free milkshake for which I think is kind of cool. So tune in at three o'clock guys. We'll be doing that Arby's challenge and I will see you at three o'clock. Peace.